How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay and I've got exciting news today. Well, exciting to anyone like me who uses M1 Finance to invest. Because today M1 Finance announced they have finally fixed their worst and most annoying feature. If you remember back to the in-depth review I did on the M1 Finance platform, this was the number one complaint I had about M1 Finance, and they finally fixed it. It only took about a year of people complaining and nudging them, saying, hey, this should be different, but we got there, they fixed it, and that's right, you can finally move slices between pies without creating a taxable event. If you're new to M1 Finance, when you set up your M1 Finance portfolio, in order to invest in there, you select the stocks or ETFs or whatever you want to invest in and you organize them into pies. These pies, you set the percentage allocation, how you want each individual investment invested in. And then as you invest, as you add more money to your M1 Finance portfolio, M1 does all the hard work and invests your money so that your investments stay at those percentages you set. You don't have to worry about going in and rebalancing and buying and selling things. The problem came in is a lot of people, myself included, has more than one pie inside their M1 Finance portfolio. If we look at my passive income portfolio I have on M1 Finance, I have my original top four dividend passive income ETFs in one pie, and then I have three secondary dividend ETFs that were late additions to this portfolio in a separate pie. Now up to this point, if I wanted to move an investment from one pie into the other, even though they're in the same account, M1 Finance would actually sell my shares of that investment in one pie and then rebuy them in the second pie in the same account. Now you can see how that was a problem and an annoyance to many M1 Finance users because the selling of those shares creates a taxable event when all you're really doing is reorganizing how your portfolio was structured within your account. So I'm very happy that M1 Finance has fixed this feature. Now let's take a look at how it's gonna work. Now, an important disclaimer, right now, as I record this video, this feature is not yet rolled out to all M1 Finance users. So if you don't see it in your account yet, don't panic. Also, at the current time, it's only available on the web platform. So that means you have to log in on a desktop or laptop computer in order to get this feature. They're gonna roll it out to mobile eventually. I don't have a time frame on that right now. Also, if you like this video and you're as happy about this feature as I am, give this video a thumbs up down below, help it spread to other people who may not be aware that M1 Finance is fixing their major issues. Okay, so now how will the Moving Slices feature work in M1 Finance? First and foremost, it won't create a taxable event anymore. You will be able to move slices between pies in your account. But if you have multiple accounts at M1 Finance, you won't be able to move slices from one account to another account. That will still require buying and selling just as it would in any other brokerage. So to move slices between your M1 Finance pies, first you go under the Invest tab and you see that little pie chart of your holdings that's right there on the page. Go down and click the Edit button under that. Select the slice of that pie, the individual investment that you want to move out of that pie and into another pie in your account, and hit the Move button. That will bring up a drop-down menu of your available pies. Just click the one you want to move it to, and then readjust the portfolio percentages in that pie that you're moving the slice to. Obviously, moving the slice in, you're going to have to readjust things because the total pie has to equal 100%. If your pie doesn't equal 100%, M1's not gonna allow you to save any changes and move forward. Next, you're gonna have to do the same thing. You're gonna have to update the percentages of the pie because moving that slice out of that pie is creating a deficit in there and you gotta move around the percentages to get that back up to 100% as well. Once you've done all that, click continue. M1 will bring up a confirmation page showing all the changes you just made in your portfolio. So you'll see all the percentage changes you just made and the investments you're swapping from one pie into another. If all that looks good to you, click confirm and you're done. It's a simple and easy process, which is why it was so frustrating that they didn't have this to begin with. 
but it's finally here and will hopefully be available to us all very shortly. Now, a couple more important notes, some things you may run into or questions you might have. If you want to move the slice or slices out of one pie into a brand new pie in your same portfolio, you're first gonna have to create that second pie and save it in your portfolio so there's somewhere to move it to with this process. You can't just go in, select move, and then create the new pie as you're moving. You gotta do that part beforehand. Also, if any point along the way in that process, you change your mind, decide, yeah, I don't really want to do this. I don't want to make these changes. Click cancel. As long as you do that before that final confirmation screen, you're fine. None of the changes will be saved. And obviously, if you have a pending buy or sell on the slice you're trying to move, or if you have a pending rebalancing of your portfolio through the M1 rebalance feature, you're not gonna be able to move the slice until that trade or that rebalancing is completed. And if you're using one of M1 Finance's expert pies, their pre-built, pre-allocated pies they have available, you can't move slices out of their expert pies, unfortunately. And very important, if you have a pie that you're using in multiple M1 Finance accounts, say you have the same pie in your Roth IRA and your taxable account at M1 Finance, if you do the move slices feature out of that pie in one of the accounts, it's going to change that pie in every account that you're using that pie in. So say you want to make the change only in your Roth IRA account, unfortunately, messing with that pie and moving that slice out in your Roth IRA is going to trigger the change in that same pie in your taxable account and may trigger a taxable event there. So if you do use the same pie across multiple accounts, just be cautious, be careful before you make any changes like that. And if you're not using M1 Finance yet, now there is definitely no reason not to if you are a long-term buy and hold investor. Check out my link in the description below if you want to sign up for M1 Finance. If you don't, why are you watching this video anyways? <laughs> With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy that feature that M1 Finance rolled out. God knows I've been waiting for it. Thanks as always for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.